Zen Tin isn't sure how many times he's been bitten, somewhere around 20, but says he won't stop charming snakes here at Yangon Zoo. This one, a king cobra, is one of the most dangerous in Asia, but not that common in Myanmar. Instead, it's the deadly Russell's viper that kills hundreds of people in the country every year. Zen Tin, though, says he's protected from snake bites by his many tattoos. The tattoos on my body were combined with traditional medicine from Myanmar. This snake medicine is now all over my body. The medicine includes poisons from all kinds of snakes and also traditional herbs used in Myanmar medicine. It was injected into my body. Most people who are bitten, though, have no protection. Almost 8,000 people were treated for poisonous snake bites in Myanmar in 2011. The last year, there are available figures. Over 8% of them died, far higher than the world's average. One reason is that healthcare in the former military ruled country is in a pretty desperate state, with few health clinics in rural areas. Farmers are most at risk, especially at harvest time when the grass is long and more people are working in the fields. That's what happened to this rice farmer a couple of years ago. My food was burning when I was bitten. I didn't feel pain right away. I thought I had been stung by a bee, but when I looked around, it was a viper. Fo lives near a health clinic so could get the right treatment, but others aren't so lucky. Health officials know they need to provide more anti-venom to people in rural areas. The best and only treatment if you're bitten by a snake is to inject the correct anti-venom quickly. There are around 150 species of snake here, 40 of which are poisonous. And as not everyone is protected like Sen Tin, the country is now building a new facility to make more anti-venom as they try to bring down the number of people killed here every year.